in this question, we are interested in constructing a 90% confidence interval. The question says, in a survey of 674 U.S. adults, age 18 to 64, 396 say that they've gone to the dentist in the last year. You have a survey of 674 U.S. And then 396 said yes. You went to the dentist last year. How do we construct a 90% confidence interval here? When you're talking about a 90% confidence interval, you're basically talking about this normal distribution. 90% of the area is in between 5% to the left and 5% to the right. To find the critical value z sub c, we're going to use inverse norm. When you have a level of confidence, which is 90%, the area to the left is 5%. So if you use inverse norm, you can find the z c or the critical value as negative 1.645. The positive one is on the right-hand side, 1.645. Why we need this? Because we're going to use this information and construct the confidence interval and we need the margin of error. So let us go to the next page. In this question, we're going to build a 90% confidence interval. You need to follow the guidelines. The guidelines say, hey, you need to identify the sample statistics n and x. Remember that n is the sample size. The sample size is the total number of people in the survey, 674, which is basically on the denominator. On the numerator, you have x, which is the number of successes. 396 said yes, we've gone to the dentist in the last year. So x or 396 goes on the numerator. You need to do the division and approximately is 0.588 or 58.80 of these people, they've gone to the dentist last year. Q hat is one minus P hat, which is approximately 0.412 or 41.20% said no. Very good. Verify that the sampling distribution of p hat can be approximated by a normal distribution. These are the basic algebra that you can easily calculate. n, which is your sample size, times p hat must be larger than or equals to 5. n, or the sample size, times q hat must be larger than or equals to 5. Find the critical value z sub c. Since we are finding 90% confidence interval, the z c or critical value is 1.645. Why we need that information? Because we can, we're going to construct e or the margin of error or the distance. It follows the formula z c multiplied by square root of p hat q hat divided by n. I need to plug everything in. So zc times square root of p hat divided by p hat times q hat divided by n is 0 0.588 times 0.412. These are the numbers that you calculated here. Divided by n, n is the sample size, which is 674. Then you're going to say that, hey, my p or population proportion is bounded between p hat minus e and p hat plus e. So we are basically finding p hat plus minus e. 90% confidence interval is p hat plus minus the margin of error. p hat, as we calculated here, is 0.588 plus minus the margin of error, which is this number here, and after Doing the calculation using your calculator, you get 0 0.031. So 
588 plus minus 0.031 is the lower bound and the upper bound. The lower bound is 0.557 and the upper bound is 0.619. So what is our conclusion? Our conclusion is, hey, 90%, we are 90% confident that the population proportion of US males ages 18 to 64 that they gone to dentist in past year is in between 55.7% to 61.90%. So in summary, this is what we have. To construct the 90% confidence interval, after doing the algebra, they say that, hey, we are 90% confident that Population proportion of U.S. male ages 18 to 64 who say that they've gone to the dentist in the past year is in between 55.7% and 61.9%. That's the interpretation.